All right, here's an image I just pulled off the card. This is from uh, Mark's Hamilton's four-day workshop. Uh, I obviously wasn't paying attention, and uh, I saw this uh, cat going through the bushes, and uh, I had my 7200, so I managed to grab this shot. So I think I can possibly do something with this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a defog, filter, sharpen, unsharp, mask, 2060. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take a look at my levels here now. Yeah, I see it's a little bit underexposed, but I'm just going to bring the highlights up a bit. Yeah, about there. And I'm going to bring the midtones up just a bit too. Right about there. Now I'm going to go into my curves, and I'm just going to do a tinge of an S curve here. Just give it a little bit of contrast. Perfect. Just like that. Now I think I'm going to just go and I'm going to actually burn around in highlight mode. I'm just going to see how this is going to... Let's see if I can really isolate the cat here. And then I'm just going to go in, uh, oops, sorry, I'm just going to go in mid-tone mode. Just like that. Now, Let's bring out those eyes just a bit more. So I'm actually going to zoom in here and I'm going to take my my dodge tool and I'm just going to bring out those catch lights just a bit. And I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to throw in a little bit more here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the saturation on this. I'm going to give it some uh, Let's see if I can really bring out the green in his eyes. And then I'm going to go back in my history. I'm going to use my history brush. And I'm going to bring it just back on the eyes. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm going to do a different crop here. I'm going to crop this out. I'm going to come in a little bit tighter here. Right about there. I'm going to copy, new document, paste it in, and I'm going to press Control T and I'm going to flip this horizontal 180 degrees, just like that. I'm going to flatten it, and now I'm going to go in and again, I'm going to give it another another hefty burn. You know, I'm in a, I'm in a burn mode here, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with my dodge tool again, and I'm going to just dodge all the highlights, just in the face here. And then I'm going to fade it back. Just like that. Perfect. And you know what? I know it's bugging me. I'm going to darken with the clone stamp. I'm just going to go in. Give that a quick cloning down here. And then in normal mode. Just drop it. Just like that. Perfect. Now, let's just take the smudge tool here. And I'm just gonna you know randomly I'm just gonna click around on the I know my background and my foreground blend in pretty good already. Because of the uh long lens I was using with my seventy to two hundred. As you can see some of the the green here on the face, that's from the blades of grass that were almost immediately in front of the uh of the lens. And you know what? Now that I see I am going to take my clone stamp again and I am just going to darken this here. Just like, eh, just like that. Perfect. Now, let's add a nice step-up border. So I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the green here. Yeah, right about there. Change it to my background. Canvas size. Let's go 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Perfect. And then change the default colors to black. Make that, and let's go say 
three inches by three inches. Perfect. Now, now that I see that, you know what? I'm going to go right into my good old brightness contrast, and I am going to just give it a good old walloping, just like that. Perfect.